Usually if I stand on top of something like this, you guys would be stupid. Come to Papa, come on. Did you just lose a hand? <laughs> He's like, oh, that was dumb of me, ow. What's up guys, and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And before we get into today's episode, I wanted to really quickly share something that I came across. And that almost a year ago today, the developers for this game announced that Beneath would be coming soon. Now, I don't know about you guys, but coming soon for me isn't usually measured in years, but I saw the trailer for the first time today, and I gotta say, it looks great. I'm still very excited to play this, when I'm in my 40s, but for now, we're gonna have to stick to workshop levels. Our first level is called The Diner, and I think it's a bit of a smaller level, which is good. I'm trying to find a good mix of levels because it seems every episode we play something with 150 people in it, and I can't beat it, and it gets really laggy, and all I wanna do is make food with Ernie and Bert here and fight just a couple of people. Maybe swim in their tubless bathtub. Oh, that was the exit. Okay. I would like to fight somebody. 24 people is a pretty decent size, and I hear meat and glasses hitting the floor out in the dining area, so I'm gonna go check on that, okay? Uh, what's in here first? This would be a supply closet. With lights? That's pretty impressive, okay, so I can take a spare chair out, maybe somebody is falling over. Ah, no, I'll bring some meat out to them and refrigerate the chair. Yeah, that, oh, oh, no, no chair. That's our specialty. We give people cold chairs and warm, uncooked meat. <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of uh, business in this diner, as you can see. It's also just kind of a giant purple box. We have music, though. You guys are still killing it, even without your microphone. What's going on in here? Ooh, this looks shady. Are these, oh, they're bathrooms. Okay, that, that's not shady. I thought it was like brothel rooms where people were doing sexy time things, but no, apparently they were just taking a poop. The ultimate sexy time thing. Can I, ow, ow, can I just leave? I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm just going to jump into, oh. I was being sarcastic. I have now found two ways to leave this map without actually fighting anybody. I don't suppose one of you guys would like to go out and check instead and I can cook and do laundry in the kitchen. That doesn't sound super sanitary. What does the button do? I'm gonna press your button. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, my bad, never mess with a chef's kitchen. What does this button do? That's just the lights. Oh, okay, no, I'm sorry, that's still rude. <laughs> sorry about that, Bert, I didn't mean to kick that guy into you. We'll, we'll, oh, you'll finish him off. Hey, 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 no, you gotta stay out front. Don't tell Ernie I ruined his soup on this guy's head. He'll be really upset. <laughs> or he'll be dead. You know, that that works too. Sir, please get down off the table. That's a very warm chair. Here, let me go cool that for you. Careful. Uh, there we go. You see, everything works out in the end. So that's just gonna get cooler. And we'll go clean up. Nine people left. I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> Neither of those guys, apparently. They're cool with just chilling in the corner. Where did everyone else go? This isn't exactly a big place. Yeah, people are still, oh, they're fighting on the pooper. Yeah, he's <laughs> avenging Bert. I wonder if you're still in here. Hello? Hmm. Usually you wanna pull your pants down to do that, but I'm not gonna judge. I'll, I'll just leave you be. Wow, you guys are weird. In retrospect, we should probably warm the toilet seats and cool the chairs. Then people would be more inclined to take their pants off where they poop. I don't really know. At this point, I think that there isn't gonna be a whole lot of room for improvement because Ernie is humping that table and you guys just look like you're begging for a fight, right? How about I just poke your boss right in the eye? Oh, oh, no, I, 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 I totally meant it. I totally meant it. <laughs> what is happening right now? Okay, you know what, I wanna see. I wanna see you take them on, and that didn't work out according to plan. <laughs> Ow. Okay, the band is still playing. That was pretty great. Can I just give this a kick? <laughs> I don't wanna give you guys the wrong impression because you're doing a great job with the music, really killing it, but we're gonna have to flip a coin to see who goes and deals with the pants poopers because it shouldn't have to be me, right? So heads you lose, tails I win. All right, let's just flip that coin. And it came out heads. 
So it looks like you lose. You're, you're gonna have to go deal with them. Hey, 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 rude. Freaking drummers, man, always sore losers. <laughs> okay, two left. We're working our way through. We're doing just fine. Ooh, yeah, I didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. There we go, that's the stuff. One left. Did he at least finish his business? He didn't even start. It's like you can't poop through pants. Sir, it doesn't have to be like this, okay? It's just you and me. We could leave here together. I could spend years roaming through that luscious beard over those giant, beautiful man lips of yours. We could live our lives together. Okay, come with me to the bathtubless bathtub in the kitchen and we can escape together, right? Come on, come on. There we go, okay, he's just gonna come on with me. You're, you're squirting a little bit. Save that for later. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm going to try. You go, oh. There we go. <laughs> we did it! Our next level is called Airport Madness, and this one, it really resonates with me, because you know, I've never had a bad experience in a diner, per se, but I feel like airports are just the epitome of human sorrow. Nobody ever enjoys an airport, they're just the worst, and apparently I work here, so that must be an absolute treat, sir. You can't bring a basketball or boxing gloves onto a plane. That's definitely against TSA regulations, and why does everybody turn and look at me when I say that? Are you all trying to travel with basketballs and no clothes? Traveling naked is perfectly fine. You see, this guy tried to bring a basketball, and now he is clearly in trouble. Can I have that knife? Actually, you know what? I should probably leave that to professionals. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go on break. Y you can all just wait. If you miss your connections, then nuts to you. I'm not 100% sure if this is the break room or the security room or both, but I'm an employee, so clearly I can go in here, right? Jim, Bob, it's good to see you, Jim. I see you're still adamantly staring at the security chocolate bar on the wall. Anything to report? No, just deliciousness? Oh yeah, we're shaking down this guy. You see, I told you, no boxing gloves. They never freaking listen. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be drinking on the job again, Bob, was it? I don't know, it's my first day. I do my best to try to remember everything. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, no. Listen, guys, it wasn't supposed to be like this. <laughs> well then, I think I was a plant the whole time. I'm gonna bring all the basketballs onto the planes. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. I think I can open these safes as well. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we have a very illegal uh, comb. Yeah, well, hold on. Let me, let me get the comb real quick. There you go. That could definitely kill a man. You know, they take this kind of stuff from people before they get on airplanes, and you think that you couldn't use it to hijack a plane, but... You could. Yeah, you, yeah, you definitely could. If you can tear somebody's face off with it, you can take a plane. Oh, hey, Fluffles, how's it going? Where were you flying off to? I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this wall. Maybe you can help me out with it? It's very low, and I don't know how I can go over here. Hmm, strange. Okay, so we have a lot of people very upset. Yeah, this is kind of what I would expect airports to come to at some point. All, all you really need is like one spark to set off a forest fire of rage. Maybe somebody misses their connection or a flight is overbooked or their Nintendo Switch dies. It really doesn't matter. Just the smallest thing can set everybody off. And then before you know it, we have an apocalypse situation on our hands. <laughs> and it's survival of the fittest or the best equipped musicians in this case. Oh no, you monsters. You broke all the duty-free liquor! That's literally hundreds of thousands of dollars in six or seven bottles. Trust me, that stuff isn't cheap. All the guitars and the art and stuff like that. How could you guys? I expected better from flying pirates. You guys have already learned that you shouldn't be taking the sea anymore. <laughs> I'm really impressed with just the simplest levels in this game. I gotta say, I know that it's not exactly insanely well-built. Like, it's just a room in space, pretty much. But I still feel as angry as I would in an airport. Ooh, this big guy's picking on Fluffles. Get out of here. Are you okay, Fluffles? 
You seem to be crumpled into a ball. Yeah, he's doing fine. I got your back, buddy. Don't even worry about it. We'll get you home to your wife and kids at some point. <laughs> I really need to just start killing people because, ooh, because it's really starting to hurt. There we go. You could just have your face explode. That's the stuff. <laughs> You just spent $30 on a neck pillow because you forgot to pack your own. <laughs> Please tell me. Oh, no. No, did I just evaporate Fluffles? I think I did. Yeah, that looks like him. I, I would recognize his butt anywhere. Ow! The next time I fly somewhere, I am definitely taking a pimp cane and a riot shield. I feel like this would come in very handy because you never know when you're gonna be able to take somebody else's. Why am I getting thrown around the map right now? <laughs> I love how this weapon makes people's heads explode. <laughs> okay, here, take this. I, I don't even want it anymore. Gentlemen, I've already explained to you multiple times that there is no more room in the overhead compartments and you're gonna have to check your luggage, okay? It's not that big of a deal. I'm sure we're not gonna break all of your stuff or lose it, right? Just like your feelings when I shock you <laughs> into a puddle of your own pants. <laughs> oh man, what are you doing with a taser? Give me, ooh, yeah, that might have been a bit of a lethal tasing, That that's my bad. I never did check this room. Ooh, what's going, whoa, what's going on in here? What's going on in here? This is kind of creepy, did I just jump out the map? Where am I going right now? Okay, there's only two people left. How about I just finish you guys off so that I can say that I finished the game, right? Can I haze you again? Okay, you're done. Oh, it's the exit. <laughs> okay, overall, a good first day at work. I feel like I'm gonna be put on some kind of list. Our next level is called Zombie Outbreak, and uh, I love and hate zombies in this game because when they're done right, they're really cool to look at, right? All of the kind of voxel destruction in this game is amazing, but it usually means that they're borderline immortal and just refuse to die. And when they give you a gun with a whole bunch of bullets to start the level off, you see people threatening walls, it's usually not a good sign. What are we doing here, guys? This doesn't look like much of a zombie outbreak. You guys don't look very zombie-ish. What's going on here? Okay, excuse me. Am I in the wrong level? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Who's this guy? He looks kind of important. How about you get one in the face? <laughs> I'm going outside with the zombie, excuse me. Excuse me, there, what is, oh, I have friends. I still have no idea, oh, swing and a miss. I still have no idea what this level is. Still not seeing any zombies. I didn't know him, he didn't do anything to me. I have so many friends. <laughs> what is this level? Where are the zombies? What is going on right now? This doesn't feel like a zombie outbreak at all. It's just World War Purple. Oh, that's interesting. I have infinite bullets. I like that. I don't know why they would, hey, hey, I don't know why they would give me that, but I will take it. What is going on right now? I shoot, I can shoot your shield sometimes too. What do my friends do? I, I need to stop asking questions and just go with it, okay? The zombies are gonna come sometime, I'm sure. They're gonna smell the people in the floor and then they'll, they'll are you a zombie? You feel a little bit like a zombie. Should I get him? I don't even know if he knows if I got him. What, what is happening right now? Something weird about these little green things that they keep picking up when they resurrect themselves. I don't quite get it. There we go, you can taste some. You're all alive, aren't you? Yeah, I see, I see you're wiggling and you're jiggling. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Look, are you, that guy's clearly still alive, okay? We're gonna have to take him out. Uh, oh, no, he's actually dead. What? Why, he's just convulsing. No, I used smite and everybody here is dead. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, that was anticlimactic and about as confusing as whatever's going on with this guy. Okay, can I maybe just like get you out of there a little bit? Come on, come on, you could do it. Are you good now? It's so hard to tell. <laughs> What's going on with them? Use your big boy words. You, I, I can see your inside, so I'm gonna assume you're not okay. I, I think he's done. <gasps> I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit zombie-ish. 
Maybe they were just really civilized zombies? That seems to be the case because they're, they're definitely not going down easy. <laughs> the fight is going on for a very long time and they all have a whole bunch of health. You see, shot right through the heart, doesn't even matter, getting stuck in a floor, that's all zombie things. I, I think, did I just shoot through him and hit the guy behind him? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what, they're still not dead, are you kidding me? The game is telling me that there's one enemy alive, but it's kind of hard to tell who's alive and who's just jittering and humping the floor and stuff like that. There's gotta be somebody around here somewhere. It wasn't you, right? You're the one that got stuck in the floor. Hello? Zombie man? There's somebody left, there has to be. I don't, oh! What? Okay, well I guess we could just leave one zo zero zombies behind. I got them all? Must have decayed. Ooh, okay, our final level is called Small Roman Coliseum Arena something or other. And it looks like I don't need to do a whole lot concerning people are getting diced up and lit on fire. And I don't even know where I am, man. One minute I was at the airport and the next minute I'm fighting for my life. Usually if I stand on top of something like this, you guys would be stupid. Come to Papa, come on. Did you just lose a hand? <laughs> He's like, oh, that was dumb of me. Ow. Ooh, I got an idea. Okay, I've made a lot of friends, and then we're just gonna hang out up here. Ooh, okay. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> There's so many people below me, and they're all on fire. Yes, that worked perfectly. Okay, hey, how, what, wow, what did you think about that? That was kind of painful, not gonna lie. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna go back. We're just gonna hang out up here. There you go. <laughs> I miss these stupid traps, man. There aren't that many like open fighting levels in the workshop and I have a sliver of health. So if you guys could just melt. You're tough old birds, aren't you? Nice and roasted though. Oh my God, uh, okay, uh, that was my sword. Here, how about uh, one of them? Hmm, you just do not want to quit. Don't suppose I could interest you in some spikes like this gentleman, he seemed to really enjoy them. I'm sure he's gonna leave a five-star Amazon review, so maybe if you guys could just, come on, there we go. Hmm, yeah, okay, I'm gonna give it three stars. Guys, it doesn't need to be like this, okay? Him getting diced up, what the? You see, he doesn't care all that much. He's gonna shake it off, so why can't the rest of us? Anybody needs me, I'll be hiding up here on top of the Christmas tree. What are you looking at? I kinda wanna try that strategy where I piss off everybody and walk through the fire and do stupid things, and then if I get enough people following me, I should be able to convince them to come hang out around this. All right, come on guys. Who doesn't want a hand anymore? Can I make this work? I'm just gonna jump on your heads. Oh, okay, no, I'm not up here. I'm not up here. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. I can't believe that worked. Okay. Yeah, the whirling blades, they're they are kind of smart. They, they don't walk into them right away, but I mean, some of them, not so much. You just gotta give them a little time. <laughs> Victory! Ah, oh, the smartest gladiator throws his shield over the crowd and then runs into the spikes. Aw, oh, come on. I wanted to die a warrior's death. Instead, I'm gonna have to die a marshmallow's death. I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And as always, I'm still having a lot of fun playing this game, okay? I know I say it at the end of every episode because I don't really have anything else to say, but this game just has this odd charm to it that even if Beneath never comes and it just ends up being what it is right now, I have no doubt that I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing it for a very long time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.